Hello and welcome back to Witches of the Moon. I'm Eva Maria, your Monday hostess. And this week's topic is simple versus complex spells. To be honest, spells can be as simple or as complex as you want them to be. There's no right or wrong way to cast. And what might suit one practitioner exceptionally well might not suit another very well at all. So I would say that when considering the intricacy level of your spell work, you should bear in mind that your work is your own. Therefore, your practice, your methods, should suit your own needs rather than meeting someone else's anyone else's really preferential standards furthermore simplicity does not equate to less effective results some of the simplest spells out there are hoodoo magic spells spells practiced by hoodoo root workers and yet those are some of the most powerful spells out there, in my opinion. You know, I say this judging from my own experience and from what I have seen. Personally, I've done my fair share of very simple spells, and I've also done my fair share of rather complex spells. However, these days I tend to gravitate more toward simplicity. And the reason why I gravitate more toward simplicity, especially now at this point in my practice, is that I like simplicity. And simpler spells, they just seem to suit my very busy lifestyle and my on-the-go needs more often than not. At least at this point in my life, I just find that it makes more sense to generally do more simple spell work. You know, but that's just me. That's just what suits my needs. So however simple or complex you want your spell work to be, in my opinion, it all comes down to what works for you. What resonates with you? So I, I do want to point out that I have had great results with spells as simple as chanting a thought form's name and willing it to action, you know, through faith. And alternately, I've also had great results with very elaborate rituals. You know, not that I tend to gravitate toward rituals much anymore at all, but in the times that I've done them, you know, they've worked for me too. So I would say my ultimate opinion is that it's not the intricacy or difficulty level of a particular spell that matters. It's whether or not a particular spell resonates with and triggers you in the right ways to manifest the changes that you are seeking to make. So these are my thoughts on this topic. This is my two cents. I'm going to leave you with that. I'm going to wish you blessed be an ashe. I do encourage you, if you have any questions, comments, thoughts, anything, anything to chime in, please hit me up in the comments. As I always, uh, I do always welcome that. I also encourage you to stay tuned, watch everyone else's videos, see what everyone else has to chime in on this topic. And um, yeah, until next time, until our next exchange, you stay awesome and bye-bye for now.